Hello and welcome back to the last spell. How are you doing? We are just gonna go ahead and jump. Wait, what? About to end, but you have unresolved. Yeah, that's fine. It's just mana, and I'm pretty sure every. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, Jelenka had slightly less mana than full. Dang. Oops. Oh well. Okay, we've got our first uh, beast of question. It's okay. We're we're gonna be able to absolutely destroy them. Um, Jelenka should actually be. Uh, I should have swapped these. Let's let's swap them around because Paloma has better range. Um. Let's see here. Maybe a follow-up would be good for this Ripper. Hmm. I'm just trying to see, like, figure out how I wanna how don't how I wanna do this. Let's just move him here for now. Sorry, move her here. And I will I think probably Stunning the frog and killing this thing first would be the ideal situation And I'm gonna throw contamination on that guy now, but we're gonna like not kill him um, I could do a mega stomp I, I just kind of want to do a follow-up on this guy Ah Yeah, well good enough not to, n not required to, to do a lot. Um, I guess the only problem here is that if I kill the hopper with a lot of people around it in order to spread that contamination, is he's also going to be buffing people. So that is that is a some cause for small concern. Let's just go ahead and kill this lad as we move by. And we will run by here and... Oh, yeah, he needs to stand... She needs to stand next to something to get that bonus. Not that it matters at all. What? That guy has one health left? Sure. Now, Carmen. Carmen, first, uh, we... Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out how to game this isolation as much as possible. Wow, she does really nice damage right now. So she's gaining. Uh, oh wait, she did. She did. I didn't give her that isolation bonus yet. That's fine, actually. That just means that she gets the plus ten percent from uh, being alone. Nice. Yeah, she's doing good work. Um, she does get the... Is she getting XP from... Oh, I didn't give her that. Oh, that must be someone else. Who who did I give that to? Paloma? Paloma got the defensive training. Ah. I really wish uh, Carmen could have gotten that. Carmen would have benefited a lot from it. Um, 151... We could chance do one. Yeah, like unless it critted, that's fine. We'll move a little bit over here. And I think that is worth it. I think that was, it was fine. I don't know about those slow traps. I don't think I like them as much. Poisoned. I'm, I'm fine if they want to destroy those walls. They're kind of a pain in the butt. Um, let me see. How do I want to like game this as much as possible? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know what? Why don't we switch and do like a weakening touch? There we go. And then I can like see if I can't game that a little bit. Switch back. And I want to kill this lad. I'll transfer and try and kill him with just like basic spells. Actually, crossbow might do it. Nope. Okay. Almost, though. 
Uh, I can almost hit that other frog, and I think it would be worthwhile. Oh, almost killed it. That's fine. We're we're gonna probably kill it with our other lead. Let's uh, do like a ground smash, actually. Actually, we don't need to do any of that movement. Probably. No, we do a little bit. Ground. Oh wait, no. Uh, sorry, we do. I want us to do a mega stomp, not a ground smash. Mega stomp for the propagation. <laughs> nice. Bleh. Just kill that lad. Um, stun this lad if I can. Yeah. How much are we up to? Temporary temporary effect hindering the effect affected unit. Oh wait, sorry. Whenever negative alteration is applied by the hero, plus one opportunism for two turns, I guess. I don't know how much we can stack that. Let's throw contagion on this guy now. I know there's like absolutely no reason for me to like overthink these turns as much as I am, but it's fun. I like it. Why not? You know what? I'm having a good time. <laughs> um, let's do an impaling shot here. Oh, that's only going to hit two. That's fine. Um, we just need to get Carmen more action points. She just like straight up needs to be able to do more and then she she can just tear through everything. All right, we're good. Um, let's get these guys up, back up to the wall. Oh, no, no, he's already there. I'll move him a little bit over here just in case that he's uh, I keep saying he they're all women. It's because that helmet, that helmet makes it look, uh, that makes them look masculine. All right. I'm seeing, um, good opportunities here. Yeah, that's not terrible. I mean, I, it's fine. Let's um, put contamination on this guy. I just kind of want to kill stuff at this point. That didn't uh, stun this guy. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can't stun those guys. Wow, we didn't stun them. Okay. That sucks a little bit. It's fine. We're just gonna we're gonna kill them with a cu couple of crossbow bull boats, crossbow bolts, crossbow boats. Yeah, that's good. Um, you know what I th am thinking? I kind of want Carmen to just like stand on the side here and do an impaling bolt through all of these lads. That would be just fantastic. Oh, I guess it has a limit. Okay, maybe maybe we don't do that. I'm 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 open to the idea, but uh I actually think that it would be better to just do a like a firebolt. Well, it only takes it's only one action point for an impaling bolt. So maybe we can kill we'll kill two like clean up a couple lads and then come over here. Actually, let's let's stand on this dead trap and do an impaling shot through these three lads. Worth it. I like it. We can actually do another pretty good one. Yeah, I mean, how how can you not? Um and you know what? We'll make use of uh Paloma and transfer her and uh, that will she'll be able to move back a little bit Actually, she has more action points now. She can continue the, the rampage Nice not bad not bad at all Okay, um 
What can we do? What can we do with uh, Paloma? Paloma's got plenty of stuff to do. Maybe we should. She's not getting a lot of kills. We need her to get some kills. Uh, and we can. Yeah. Okay. That's that's good. Um, I don't think we, we we need to do much more than that. I'm a little bit worried about her. She's gonna be taking some some hits, but you know what? She's got some armor. Oh wow! Honestly, the best thing about the ballistas right now is they're taking out all these fast dudes, and that is really nice. Okay, let's uh let's do a transfer now that I can uh, hit this guy hard. Oh, we missed twice. That's not really good. Just a normal spell might do it. Actually, we may as well do a magic missile. Perfect. I, I planned that out pretty good. Okay, um, I want to do something nice here. I, I, I sound like someone who's like planning a surprise party. I want to do something nice here. Um, can we, we'll contagion this guy and then do a follow-up. We can do another, uh, it sucks when you don't get the stun. I, I guess we'll try again. Yeah, all right. Just like even uh, even getting one stun is good enough. We could jump over, I guess. No reason to do that except that it's novel. Um, Carmen. Carmen is great. Carmen's doing so good. Love Carmen. Now we can we want to kill this person here. Oh, that didn't kill him. Interesting. I should have used a um, heavy bolt. You know what? Why don't we... Let's use a heavy bolt on this guy. So that we don't waste that. And we're going to do an impaling bolt. Because there's some really good impaling bolts here. Nice. Uh, oh, this... If I could, like... Honestly, it might even be worth like punching the dude. Let's punch the dude. I know that's possibly a huge waste, but there's just like a really good impaling here. There we go. And we didn't even kill the frog, and that's actually perfect because you you want to you want the frog to die last. All right, good turns. Good turns. Oh, that's such a good trap right there. Oh, yes. Okay, maybe maybe debatably good because it killed the frog when they were surrounded by enemies that contamination is also like continuously buffing our dude with opportunism so that's really good i actually think that um throw this weakening touch is possibly more um it, it's a bit more of a like a win here maybe uh, i don't know because, like, I'm thinking, like, we could use it to uh, spread with contamination because he's going to get opportunism every time it it, uh, it lands. Increase an attribute for giving. Throw it plus 10% opportunism, I think. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell how, like, have we, we've gotten 10 opportunism, maybe? Okay, well, we've got some really good stuff to do with um, Talenka. Tempted to do a ground, uh, like a, um, sorry, a, a mega stomp. Mega stomp seems really good. I'm, I'm taking so much longer than I should for these, but like I am, I am really enjoying myself here. <laughs> Let's do contamination. Actually, we should be just doing that every single round, huh? because it just gives them opportunism there's no reason not to do that and we'll do a mega stomp yeah um 
we don't really have much to follow up with oh you know what we could do uh, we could do another good attack here and possibly stun these lads there we go and that uh, spread some more opportunism uh this is the only guy here that i'm a little bit concerned about I, I, I was concerned about cool um I don't know if we need to do anything with uh, Paloma over here. I think that Carmen's got this side very nicely wrapped up. We can, let's just like settle this now. We'll do an impaling bolt. Nice. We'll do another impaling bolt. Cool. And um, let's just wrap up with a couple of normal shots. She's going to be absolutely get doing gangbusters on those on that xp uh we'll do that tr uh actually let's not do that yeah no it's it's worth doing the transfer because i'm gonna get two attacks with the um crossbow so we may as well do that now uh, i wish i could spread the contagion a little bit to this guy because then i could possibly stun the other lads not you uh actually not great there you go more opportunism for them perfect uh yeah that's the end of that we're almost done what happened there yo what happened there that was weird the Ripper just like killed one of his own guys, maybe? I'm just gonna like spread this contagion as much as possible and then um I guess we can't do it spread it can we spread it to something that already has it? Yes we can, and it's actually worth doing that in a weird twist of fate. Um is this thing stun resistant? 50%. Okay, so we may as well just like hit it normally. I guess we can hit it with a hammer strike. We don't need to hit it with the boundary of the of the hammer strike. Um, we can do follow up because that's just going to do a lot of damage. All right. So who won the splatter contest? S. S rank. That is a little bit loud. Um, okay, we have our first, like, large pile of corpses. I think that's worth dedicating some workers to, but, uh, I think maybe last. We've got more money now. Um, let's definitely upgrade the mine. Actually, what we'll do is I'm going to use, dedicate a worker to each one. And then, okay, and then, like, basically, um... Just kind of figure out what where we're at. I think we definitely want to throw some money at upgrading houses. Because that will pay for itself. And then after tonight, like this is the last night where we have to like build towards accelerating. Um, a lot of this is actually already like it's going to pay for itself and we'll still have money left over. So we have three fully upgraded gold mines. We have four fully upgraded houses. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, the only thing next is like getting another scavenger camp. Uh, we could also look at maybe um, scavenging a couple, like another shrine. Let's upgrade this actually. And that. And then, yeah, we'll throw, we'll, we'll, we'll upgrade it to the max. Better to upgrade, I think, before we build another scavenger camp. And I'm open to building another scavenger camp, but um, we'll see how things go. So we have four workers left. There's still a couple of things like, a, a, like ruins that we can um, disassemble before we think about doing these pile of corpses. I don't know if it works out economically. I don't really want to do the math on it. And yet I, I, I feel myself wanting to. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, hold on. One worker for 36 materials versus three workers for 138 materials. So all we got to do, and I am going to do it, is... Uh, and I'm not going to account for the Tainted Essence. Because... Who cares? You're, we're going to get Tainted Essence. I don't need to care about Tainted Essence. So 138 divided by 3 is 46. So therefore, doing a... Um, a ruin is actually more worthwhile than scavenging one of these piles of corpses. I think they're a trap, honestly. I think that scavenging these uh, these cor corpse piles is kind of a trap. And um, part of what makes me say that is... Um, I think they're actually more useful as blocking... Like, like basically um, makeshift bar uh, barriers so i am going to scavenge this this ruin for some extra materials i want as many materials as i can get okay um i do if i can if i can afford another hero i would like to do that dan is a jailer he has stun chance poison damage and magic damage uh interesting Tra um, Matthew is a traitor. Less experience, more stun chance, some physical damage. And then, um, oh, they're a scepter user. Florian is a scepter user, level three. They have plus one bag slot. Less critical power, less accuracy. Ugh. Windwalk. They have Windwalk, they, I mean, they, they, they have a Scepter, right? Magic Bash has Momentum. Hammer of Faith. I do know Hammer of Faith, and I do like Hammer of Faith. And it has Stun. It has Stun and Propagation. It's decent. He. This would be a pretty good, um, they, they would duo well with, uh, I think, Jelenka is, is the one. I can't remember. I'm going to have to figure out what these symbols mean, but it, it tells me what kind of perks they have. Um, I am not a huge fan of these, but... And then this person is a... Uh, they're just a big old axe user with stun chance for some reason. Hmm... They have mana. They do magic damage. I'm kind of wondering if it wouldn't be worth buying Dan and then giving him the book that currently Paloma has in their in their alt. Cuz they do some extra magic damage. I don't know about the poison damage. They have they have two negative health debuffs, so they I'd have to like really work towards improving this guy's um health but they're level four i think we can do some interesting stuff with this guy let's try it just throw him over here and um yeah we're gonna go ahead and take that book back paloma Dan, you're gonna have a book. Um, you know, hope hope you weren't too attached to that axe. Um, what kind of perks can we give you? We can give you harvester, which would probably be a good idea. Stun chance. I mean, they could have been a pretty good stun person. Like maybe. I can't remember. What do they have? They have they have a plus fourteen percent stun chance. Like, they actually have some decent stuff. You know what? Oh, man. I just had a crazy idea. Oh, this is so stupid. Hold on. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking. Paloma. What? Uh, you have stun chance. Oh, okay, yeah. That's why we can't do that. Because I wasted a perk on giving her stun chance. Which is... I say wasted. It's, it's good for her. But I was thinking, you know what? If she had... Um, 
if she used the book instead of the hammer, her her uh, contamination and sadist would be so good. Like she'd have ridiculous opportunism, because she could just like debuff everything. The stun chance is is decent. Um, and I'm pretty sure she has an extra. Yeah, she has plus thirty percent. I, I can't do that. I cannot justify that. Dan, wait, let's come back to you. Armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. Well, giving you some extra armor right away would be very good, I think. He has extra he poison. Extra poison damage. Uh, yeah, coagulation would be good. For now. I think Harvester... Every 10% of missing mana means more critical. Could be good. They also have contamination. Yeah, I mean, we could give them contamination as well. And then they also have Sadist. You know what? Why don't we just turn Dan into another uh, Tel uh, Jelenka? Because that actually works pretty well. And we'll give them extra mana regen. Uh, actually, it might be better because they, they need kills to make uh, Harvester work. As long as the hero didn't move during this turn, plus 10% accuracy and skill range. Yeah, why don't we give them that? I know it's a weird one, but um, they could do with some extra accuracy. I, th I This is going to be... It's going to... It's weird. I know. It's, it's a weird one, maybe. Um, but I, I think that there's, there's a potential here. Initiator, uh, multi-hit doesn't do him any good. Quantity versus quality is good, though. Extra propagation means more opportunism, um, with, uh, Sadist. So they'll do, they'll be increasing their damage by a lot. All right, now let's do this. Resistance reduction would be fantastic. Because, wait, applied to the resistance of targeted enemy... Cannot decrease the resistance below the zero. I'm just wondering, like, does this work when we're debuffing enemies? Because if it did, if it does, then like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it does, right? Because like, one of the, their main skills is removing resistance. So if this works, it means we could basically completely cripple a huge wave of enemies. I, that damage is tempting. Uh, don't get me wrong. Extra resistance for them is actually really tempting as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's do resistance. Because they, they are a little bit squishy. Um, we don't actually need too much mana. Because I'm going to be using Weakening Touch a lot. So let's just give them some extra armor. Healing received. Isolation is not good for them. Daily health regen, maybe. I'm going to re-roll those. Re-roll re those. Uh, re reliability is tempting, actually. Daily mana regen. Yeah, reliability seems good. Skill range. Now there is an interesting idea. Yeah, let's let's do skill range. Uh, magic damage is tempting. This is a, one of the few times where I'm like, you know what? We don't need magic damage. Yeah, prop the re-roll into propagation bounces is one of the best rerolls i think i've ever done the propagation bounces are gonna be so good for dan good lord i want that uh i want that quantity versus quality right now right now oh man i'm actually very excited for uh for dan um extra movement for carmen would actually be a really good idea Uh, magic damage doesn't do her any good. Healing received. She needs mana, right? Ah, uh, we'll just give her ranged damage. I could have re-rolled those, but I didn't. <laughs> Every four enemies killed means more mana. Did she get through her mana? Not really. So instead, um, I think we want to give her one by one. I think one by one is going to be amazing for her. 
Heals now cost health. Right. I, I, I don't think I like blood magic. One by one is going to be amazing. We're going to, I'm going to have to metagame it a little bit, unfortunately. Like, I, I'm really going to have to figure it out. Um, but, you know. So that, that leaves Paloma. Paloma could use a better weapon. Paloma resup is the only one who has resupply, I think. Uh, Initiator is really good. We don't care about quantity versus quantity for them anymore. I really like Initiator. I think initiator is quite good. Um, it's it's good for weakening. The only thing is it, it means they're not going to be gaining a lot of XP because they're going to be initiating and not killing. But that's okay because they're going to be getting kills from defensive training, and I think that that is going to make make up for that. Uh, extra mana is actually really tempting. Do they get extra damage from that? Increase by thirty percent of the hero's current mana. They do actually. So yeah, let's take that extra mana. Reliability, ooh, yeah. 40% reliability, quite decent. Let's get our item. Oh, a dru druidic staff. What does this do? Centipedes, <laughs> just, just centipedes. Has opportunism, oh, tempting. <laughs> oh no, undodgeable. It has an opportunism multiplier. Oh god, I this is this is doing things. Uh entangle. Nah, I I don't think I can work this into my plan. It's really nice. Honestly, I think it might be worth um No, I I, I just gave the guy uh initiator. I can't I can't take that stuff. It honestly could do with better armor. Um, isolation. Nah, isolation is terrible with that. Yeah, this is a decent armor. Let's take that. We could, I mean, Dan could definitely use anything. We just got him. But I'm pretty sure someone else could probably use anything as well. Um, but Dan's also a little bit squishier, so I'm sorry. Dan. Uh, range damage. Hmm. I mean, it, it doesn't make much sense not to give that to uh, Carmen. And we can give that to Dan. It has slightly better armor. <laughs> Only slightly. Um, all right. New structures, new gear. I could buy some new gear. Warp crystal. Plus six mana, negative one move point. Awful. Uh, Rain of arrows scroll. Oh, I love Rain of arrows. Yeah, why don't we buy Rain of arrows? It's four mana. We could give it to Carmen, even though she's already a ranged user. I think she could make use of that because it could actually build to our isolation. Wait, that's Dan. Oops. Carmen, you are going to be doing fine work with that Rain of Arrows. I feel it in my soul. Um, Carmen, go ahead and take some extra mana. In fact, why don't you go ahead and take that second bit of mana? Apparently you need it. What is next? We spent all of our gold. We definitely want to spend some materials. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's repair some of these. Actually, can we just do like repair all traps? I don't want to repair barricades. Barricades are only a pain. We can do repair all traps. I like that. I appreciate that. Oh, I have one worker left. Okay, we can do guesswork. That's all I care about. Perfect. Yeah, that, that I'm very glad we did that because I things are, are, are going to be not as good as, as they would have been a second ago. Um, let's, um, I'm not a huge fan of what's going on over here. We could build our first mounted ballista. 
Yeah, these, these little things here are kind of a pain in the butt. Let's do our first mounted ballistas. Three of them, and we're going to upgrade them too. Expensive. We're just going to upgrade uh, a couple of these ballistas over here. We could probably upgrade all of them. Nice. And we have enough for some traps. Maybe we have enough for like one. No, we don't have enough for an attack trap. We're exactly one material short. That's fine. Um, I don't like these slow traps, actually. I think that they're not as good as, as I'd like. Uh, all right, so we're going to put Carmen here. And we're going to put uh, Jelenka and Dan together. Dan and Jelenka are going to be best friends. Best friends forever. We'll put them up both on the other side of this barrier because I don't trust that that barrier... I don't trust that they're all going to come this way. They're probably going to spill over over here a little bit. Um, and then... Paloma and um, Carmen. Well, the thing is, is Carmen's really good by herself. So I might want to put her way over here. And then she can do impaling shots this way. Uh, and she'll still get that damage buff. Paloma, um, you know, he's... She, she, she's still figuring things out a little bit. And that's pretty much that. We've spent everything... Your prowess has been accomplished. Oh, right. Do we finally get epic items? Rejoice, O Earth and Sea. What is the source of your powers? Hope, dreams, faith, and better days yet to come. Thine and everyone else's. Humans, through their frail nature, are blessed with that hunger for life, that glimpse of light in their hearts, even when all is dark. With my powers regained, I shall reach to all living thing beings across space and time and bring them glory in their... in ineluctable end we accomplished two things hit 600 units with a skill using the propagation effect oh we accomplished three things my goodness we're, we're accomplishing so many things right now receive my blessings for thy wondrous accomplishments and uh you know we can buy some stuff i don't know if i really want to plus three mana sure plus three mana and more uncommon items sure yeah that just seems better cool all right um let's move to our deployment and uh i think we're i think we're pretty good i don't i don't i feel pretty confident with this can't sleep even if i count them all first trap already gone off oof oh my god <laughs> Yeah, we we are already we're off to a, a good start here. Out of range. Yeah, I mean the two kills over there. Um So Does he not have the opportunism thing yet? Did I not give it to him? I thought I did. Oh, it's the next thing I'm going to give him. Okay. That's fine. Um, I mean, we're just going to kill things. I'm going to give him the kills when it, where I can cuz uh he can use it. Um, and yeah, that's a bunch of people not doing stuff this first turn. Okay, we've got we got big lads. And we have lancers. Lancers are going to be spicy. Okay, um Not I don't like how these guys distributed. I'm going to throw down plague there, plague there. 
and I'm gonna set up weakening touch. Oh, actually, there's a there's a really good weakening touch here. There we go. And I'm gonna do another weakening touch just for this guy. Um, and what I'd like to do is I can come back. I have enough movement for this. I want to do a mega stomp and I'm hoping the propagation will do some nice stuff. Yeah. That was decent, actually. Can we stomp this guy? Okay, we could follow up on one of these lads. Perfect. And um, we can kill this lad. Okay. Um, we didn't kill everything over there. That's, you know, a little bit worrying, but we should be fine. Uh, our range is so good. We should be able to just like come over here. Actually, doesn't this guy have... Yeah, he's got a crossbow. Oh, this guy has no armor. So never mind. The crossbow is not going to be that helpful. Like we can definitely... Weaken him. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Since this quick shot has multi hit as well, that means we get four hits with it. That's interesting. I like that a lot. So, what we should do is I'm going to come over here and hit a bunch of stuff. So we just get like an extra hit. Um, and then I'm going to come back because I, I want uh, Carmen to get that extra bonus. And I'm going to do... Oh, actually, let's undo that. Move one over. Let's, let's just hit a bunch of stuff. Nice. Let's, uh, we'll let Carmen do something. Nice. Nice. And, um, can probably just do a couple of normal attacks on these lads. Yeah, that worked out really well. I'm, uh, I'm seeing some really interesting potential for this group. Carmen did not really do everything she wanted to, but that's fine. Carmen has to learn how to share, you know? Carmen, uh, I'll let you do some stuff this time since you had to share your, your glory. And, and she's not used to that, you know? That lone wolf business has really gotten to her. She got used to it. All right. Works. That works. And, um, I guess that uh, impaling shot doesn't really work well with her, um, one by one, but that's okay. I guess what I should do is do my one by one first, and then we can do impaling shots. Now over here, why don't we do set this up? And then we can do, uh, a mega stomp. There's no reason to be doing stuff like this. It's just fun. And this over here, it's it's pretty quiet. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. The ballistas are are actually doing more work than I'd like in some ways. I just want them to hurt things, not not really kill things, you know. Um, I'm gonna throw down a couple of contagions And I think there's a really good opportunity here for um, this We'll we'll set some stuff up um, I'm gonna do like a weakening touch And um, Kind of just want to do another, another mega stomp We could do a follow-up, I guess. Oh no, they're dead. Never mind. <laughs> Sometimes there's a delay. <laughs> Alright, and we'll just have you kill some stuff. 
I'm not going to kill this guy because they're stunned and they also have the contagion. So um, everyone's just going to crowd around them and then we can just like spread that contagion far. In fact, why don't we... Oh, we already used the contagion. Why don't we contagion this guy as well? Because that'll just be better. Um, okay, let's use a couple of crossbows on this guy. Actually, we'll use all four. Oh, that's going to kill him. And now we only get um, four magic missiles. Boohoo. And then we'll, we got to let Carmen do something, you know. Yeah, that one by one works really well. Like she ramps up really quickly. And then here you you can have the last one. See, she's learning how to share. She's she's learning to share. All right, and the turn. Blech. Okay, there's some cool stuff over here, so I really want to, uh... Oh, right, they're not stunned anymore, so that contagion isn't actually going to do anything now. Um, hmm... Eh, it's fine. Actually, these guys don't have any resistance, do they? I wonder if I've just been, like, wasting that 100%. We can just like spread the contagion anyway because they just get opportunism anyway. Um, and then we'll do a mega stomp. Nice. Like, I am, like, seriously overkilling things a bit. Oh, there is a Lancer. Uh, we don't have enough to probably kill the Lancer. That's not good. Do they have resistance? No, they are, like, turbo uh, negative resistance right now. But still, yeah, okay, that's not great. We don't want him to be able to get to anyone, but that's fine. He's, he, he can't. His movement's not very good right now. Um... Let's just have Carmen kind of kill, pick these guys off one by one. Oh, wow. She wasn't able to get the last one. She got greedy. Now, now, uh, Paloma, Paloma gets the last kill. Maybe she's salty about that. Uh oh. Nice. I, I like when they're damaged and not killed because it just makes my job easier in some ways. And also it means that my dudes are going to get the experience and that's that's what you want to see. Okay, we'll only do two shots for Lancers from now on. Cool. That's perfect. Um, and then we'll do a... Big old, oh, I guess they're, they're, <laughs> they're, I'm going to have to get through their armor anyway. So maybe that was a waste. I don't know. Okay. Um, Carmen can probably do some good stuff here. Uh, the problem is, is that these guys are all grouped up. So what I should do is if I can kill this guy here, it'll split them up a little bit. <sighs> I wasn't able to shoot. If she can kill this lad, she'll gain a little bit of extra bonus and we can do a heavy bolt on this guy. Oh, I didn't kill him. Which is, I guess, fine. That's fine. We'll do an impaling bolt through these guys. Oh, we can't. We're too close. Okay, we'll do it here. Uh, 
we can reserve a, this like we'll, we'll do a, a, some crossbow stuff to this guy in the next turn now over here things are fine um i mean it could be better i guess i'm a little bit worried about this lancer i won't lie he's he's doing a good job of like staying on his own and i want i actually i want people to be grouped up over here if i can if it, if it can happen we'll just set that group up for destruction um i'll just like do some normal attacks on this guy oh god i guess he has 12 percent resistance i should have actually like done something about that um I don't like this guy right in front of me. Yeah, that's not great. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread a little bit of contagion. And hopefully I can stun a, a bunch of lads. There's a good hit over here. Smack. Good. Solid. Um, I'm a little bit worried about this guy. I'm actually going to back... Uh, our our mage up a little bit um all right we're almost we're almost through the lancer didn't do anything oh yeah, i see he he destroyed a barrier big whoop okay let's do a heavy stomp actually let's let's just lower these guys resistance first It's just, it's, it, it just works out that it, you know, works well in combination. These Lancers are kind of, um, the rock or is it a paper to these guys rock? Like they, they, they are, they're good at, uh, with holding, holding against our attacks over here. Oh God. There's such a good fireball opportunity here. Can I do anything about... Yeah, I can. Okay. There we go. And the fireball actually blows through their armor, which is... I, I, I kind of forgot about that. Um, we should be able to clean this guy up with a opportunism. Oh, wait, sorry, with the um, follow-up. That's not bad. I guess I could have gotten some extra opportunism uh, damage first. It's not like it matters. It's 2%, you know? What are we at now? Like 11? We can just kill this guy. Let's like just move over here and do like three there and one there. It's free! It's a free attack that does a lot of damage. Um, so this guy is a bit of a concern. Wait, we've, we've still got like a ton of... No, never mind. I didn't use any action points over there. All right. Oh, you can't move. You're going to take some damage. Like our first actual chunk of damage is about to be received. Missed. Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's <laughs> Solid. More. I wanted more. Yes. Things are going so stupidly well con compared to my first go around at this. Like I was, uh, I was not doing well that first, that first game. This should be of use to you. Okay, so first of all, let's dedicate someone to um, picking up this, scavenging this this big pile because these things are worthwhile. I think. Um, is it worth the materials or two items? I don't know actually. Probably I. I don't know. Let's. I guess I'm very material greedy. Uh, and we'll do two workers to this. We'll do two workers to this, two workers to this, two workers to this. So after all that, we only have, we have three workers left. 
we definitely want to do I don't know if we want to do repel mist I don't think we need that as much as just guess where uh, everyone's got full mana we don't even need the, the temple like everyone's got full health everything's good we have a ridiculous amount of money um, the only thing is I'd like to build a scavenger's camp yes I I know that's absurd like we're we're really doubling down on materials And we could do two workers on that. But at this point, before we do that, what I'd like to do is actually look at some of these extra buildings that I have n until now not been able to afford. So maybe like a Boyer shop, for example. It may <laughs> might be a little bit like super vain of me, but you know, one of the reasons I want to do this is uh i just think it would make the town look nicer <laughs> i know that's we're at that point now um okay we're gonna like tetris block some of this stuff in here and um we could do another scavengers camp yeah why not I'll tell you why not. There's there's many good reasons why we shouldn't do that. Let's just upgrade it this way. I'm not going to put any workers towards it. Um, I still want to build something. Magic shop, I think, would be good. Blacksmith. Let's do a blacksmith. Not sure a good place for this would be. I don't want to put it anywhere where it's going to get in the way. Which is potentially anywhere. I think down here wouldn't be terrible. Get, you know what? Get rid of you. Um, was I going to build blacksmith? Yeah. Right there is not awful. Is, let me just check. This is the armor maker. I don't have a blacksmith. It's actually kind of confusing that you can build more than one of these. You can have... What? Oh, I see. Your, your limit is you can have five of these types of buildings. So you could have you could have two armor makers and then you can have like three boyers if you really like bows, you know? Um and I actually I think what I should spend the rest of my money on is actually increasing our hero capacity. Probably should have spent bought that like right away. Maybe a little bit little bit uh, cocky that I didn't, but helper upgrades help armor maker workers required is reduced to one so next uh next round we could upgrade a couple of these shops i'm pretty sure they're yeah crafts a defensive item every production phase i don't think it does that this phase though because not not like not in the phase that we built it upgrades passive production oh i see we can make it so that it makes two items every round so the uh, last thing i would like to do with our money um is see if we can buy any like items for our characters uh that's a pretty good helmet actually i do like that helmet it's good armor and i think that dan could use a good ar armor helmet we still haven't taken our knight reward now magic orbs i've heard are actually really good do these these do poison right yeah, we, this is like one of the few items that you can actually inflict quite a lot of poison with. Tempting. Tempting to take that for our uh, our new character when we get them. But these pants? Oh, very good armor. Great poison damage, actually. Would, ironically, would be great with an orb user. Um, these are just great pants. I'm going to take these pants. 
I don't know who needs some really good pants. Probably anybody. This does less accuracy, more physical, more mana, more ranged. It doesn't um, Carmen benefit from that? Increased by 30% of the hero's current mana. Yeah, they, they actually would benefit from this slightly. Let's give them nice pants. Um, Jelenka and Paloma leveled up. Who didn't level up? I think Carmen. Carmen, Carmen didn't level up. Okay, Jelenka. Sorry, Jelenka. Jelenka, I don't think benefits from extra mana. They are using more of it, but yeah, they actually didn't fully revive, uh, recover their mana consumption. Uh, quantity, yeah, I think we want quantity versus quality. I'm gonna give them this first. And um, resistance reduction <laughs> would actually be kind of interesting for them. Now let's just give them extra damage. It's it's too good. Oh, opportunism. There it is. That stun chance is also very tempting, but um, the opportunism rare is just like perfect for them. Okay, Paloma. Paloma, what do you get? You get extra damage from just having a lot of mana. Um... When attacking with a mana consuming skill, the attack gets plus 50% critical power. Mm. That's also kind of interesting. They could become a human ballista. I like that. At the end of the enemy movement phase, the hero automatically attacks the two closest enemies with the human ballista bolt. I do wonder though, does this, um, does this count as, uh, as, a, making a kill in in the eyes of initiator because that would make that not worth it to me oops didn't mean to do that giving them mana yeah mana would be good honestly like i, I don't want to get too cocky uh, I, giving them armor would also be good because like once they start taking hits, I don't want them to just like suddenly keel over. Kind of, I kind of want to reroll these. Yeah, just like get taking an uncommon health wouldn't be a terrible idea. Extra magic damage, great, easy take. Um, I'm tempted on this resupply because the nice thing about the resupply is I'm pretty sure she benefits from that because like she gets more, she gets XP from from the traps getting kills. But they don't they never seem to get kills so it doesn't really matter uh, but her being able to resupply the traps seems like a decent idea to build on um all of the hero's armor is transformed into health eh, that's lame all right yeah let's uh let's let's allow her to resupply traps we'll we'll, we'll definitely want her to be wherever there's a lot of traps. Also, I, I noticed the mist has moved past some of these traps, which sucks. Um, okay, next up, we want to build the fences. Uh, are these all upgraded? They are. We could just do more. Certainly over here could do more. Oh, I... Uh, we where's the seer we want to oh we already did guess where wow i'm honestly surprised okay well then in that case we want to do some i think i want to do a couple mounted ballistas over here just two two is enough and then we'll do a couple of more just like normal ballistas over here are these upgraded? No, they're not. I'll reserve some materials for, uh, actually let's uh, upgrade these two. Nice. 
And actually, I'm going to stop there and we're going to do traps with the rest of the materials. Since we have someone who can reset them now. Do like there. 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 We'll just do a line. I'm not I'm going to be kind of lazy about it. Cool. Um that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. Do we need to repair anything? Whoops. Oh, I guess I did it. I don't know if that's going to do anything. When it's past the mist, they, they, I think they can just, like, take damage without doing... Without, you know... Like, they, they can just tank damage. Uh, Alright, so I think that's... Oh, wait, so we still have two workers. Do I actually want to throw them at the scavenger camp? That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Let's see, Do it, does anyone need more mana? I don't even think I've used my mana yet. Yeah, I haven't even used my, my mana yet. All right, everyone's good on mana. <laughs> yeah, why don't we just like throw a couple workers at uh, materials, and um, and then we'll build some more traps. Why not? This is pretty good over here. a little bit worried that the traps might hurt Carmen or, or someone if they're nearby. It's the only thing that makes me a little bit worried about the traps. And I mean, like, um, why not just do another ballista and then level it up, I guess. <laughs> this is, uh, this is going very well. Okay, um, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. I certainly am. I'm, I'm enjoying this series a lot. If um, you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.